Yes, there's a lot of stuff to come in the show, but first off, without further ado, let me get this on screen for you, and let's look at Sargoy's, Sargoy's little, uh, his message to the alt-right, his letter to the alt-right, literally a letter, this was posted by V, by the way, this is posted by V. So, Sargon of a card says, uh, Dear alt-right, let's go through this. I spent zero hours per day thinking about you. Just, that's where I laughed. I spend zero hours per day thinking about you, but I'm going to write a letter to you. Uh, I'm now going to also, in this letter, continue to talk about the times that I have spent thinking about the alt-right and talking to the alt-right. Man, it's all... <laughs> yes, Gaius Crack, isn't it? It's already terrible. It already is. It, it, it doesn't even get one sentence in without being fucking abysmal, right? I, d <laughs> I don't think about you too much, but at the same time... I, I got I got to fucking write this letter to you. If you're not thinking about it, oh come on, come on, it's so transparent. Oh, it's gonna have a nice swig of my lovely Fanta there. Fanta obviously uh, making me more of a Nazi than I I apparently am by the uh, the left deciding I'm a Nazi. And obviously Fanta was made by Nazis, so <laughs> you know I'm the worst. Uh, Gary Horton. His lackey had to do it for him because he got kicked off Twitter. It's too bitch made to make another one. Yeah, I'm on my 10th account. <laughs> Several VPNs. Like he can't afford a VPN. He probably has one as well. He can change his IP, but he just doesn't want to, so it's his choice. Athema Critics says, Cognitive Thought. This letter is basically, I don't care, but it shows... <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. People speaking too fast. I don't care, but it shows that I care a, a shit ton about them. It really does. Why not? Mitchell Smith, uh, Mitchell Smith sorry, says, Jeez, I used to watch Sargon years ago. Is he suffocating in his own farts? I'll be honest with you. Sargon of a card right now has been doing the... Uh, there was a Day of Freedom, which is, I think has been going on for about five days, even though it's the Day of Freedom. Um, and the only real thing to come out of that is the trans woman who went on stage who was uh, yelled at by the left for obviously being so close to right-wingers and stuff and performing for right-wingers and shit. It's quite funny to laugh at. There is a little news report on that as well uh, that I could probably get a hold of, but I was thinking of doing something like that tomorrow, possibly having a laugh at that. I'm really not asked. Uh, I had this argument with my brother this morning. I, this, All of these free speech rallies and stuff in the UK right now where people are going into the streets and going, oh, we free speech. It's been going on at Speaker's Corner forever. Go to Speaker's Corner in London. Welcome to free speech. Go and enjoy it. It's the same thing. You've just moved the location and got people there. Brilliant. I expect that. You have pulls. You have to get 2,000 people somewhere. Of course, where I expect that. You have a pull of Sargon of a card, Milo Yiannopoulos, Count Dankula. Um, I'm sure there's another person there that I'm missing as well. Uh, another big name who, who's also... Um, oh, yeah, Tommy Robinson, obviously. Tommy Robinson. There you go. M big names like that. You're going to get a pull of 2,000. Anyway, I spent zero hours a day thinking about you alt-right. I am not interested in any of your public personalities or anything that you do. But you were when you had the conversation. You do not factor into any decisions that I make, apart from when he comes on to debate the alt-right or when he decides that the Kumite is fully alt-right until he has to come on and apologize. Because, he, because you know, everything gets branded as alt-right by Sargon until he realizes, oh shit, they're not alt-right? Well, I'll leave it for a moment. Okay, maybe it's a dick move to call you alt-right when you are. But it's there. It's, it's the only thing really to come out of the freedom of speech thing. That's all it is, really, from that. That's all I'm seeing coming out of it. It's that and basically Sargon not liking Ali Dawa. That's what it seems to be. Anyway. Oh, God, this is funny. I have already spent my time investigating and debating major alt-right personalities, and now my investigation has concluded. He, he, it's gone now. That's it. Who can say where the Sargon goes, where debate goes, all the time? <laughs> Oh, God, this is so funny. It's like, the thing is, is that other people want to have this discussion with Sargon, and now he doesn't want to have it, and now he's decided, nope, I'm done with the alt-right, I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm out, I'm fucking out. It's evident that your movement is incapable of achieving its goals, says a 20-year plan! A 20-year plan to somehow get a constitution, I'm guessing, or freedom of speech in the UK. 
am I am I going crazy here? Oh god, it's evident that your movement is incapable of achieving its goals. Says the twenty year fucking plan. Says the I'm the liberal leader of the liberalists, but now I'm actually just raising a Padawan like in Star Wars, like it's Jedi's, and I need a fucking apprentice or some shit. Fucking hell, achieving its goals and is losing adherence due to the toxic nature of the identity politics you are advocating. It's losing adherence to the toxic nature of the... Right, okay. okay. D- d- again, depends on which alt-right person you're talking to. It really does. Your resistance to... Un- but again, this is Sargon. Tonka was fucking alt-right. The Kumite was alt-right for long enough to Sargon. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Dual Wheel, be my senpai. Fuck you, Dual Wheel, but I'll see you here on Sunday. Yes, I will be hanging around with Dual Wheel on Sunday. We'll be looking at some crazy shit like the articles I'll be going through today. But let's continue with this. Your resistance uh, to unfamiliar thoughts puts you in the realm of the religious. <laughs> the religious! Oh, God. Wow. When you when you can't beat your enemy, literally just turn them into the... Pe- just straw- you're, you're, you're religious now. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that some alt-right people don't have traditionalist values. But that doesn't mean that alt-righters have to be Christian or Catholic or religious in general. But hey, it's not about them being religious, right? It's that they're, they're unfamiliar. Your resistance to unfamiliar thoughts puts you in the realm of the religious. Says the guy who is saying, I am done talking to the alt-right. I can't take on board their unfamiliar thoughts. It, I mean, this is just, it's hilarious. Uh, someone in the chat saying, uh, Carlos David, is he trying to trigger them? Honestly, I don't fucking know. I just find this, like, it, it, it's so weird the way this is written. It's either a complete joke from Sargon to, to make a point. Or he's literally just cutting off conversation with the worst points ever. Um, With a bizarre uh, veneration of state power that could be remedied by reading authors that you pathologically rebuke, despite having no idea of what they say. Again, I'd have to know who he's talking about here. Maybe he's talking about Loki. (laughs) Maybe he's talking about the fucking Loki. Who knows? I would say that we should just be friends. Oh! Why can't we be friends? Just some art white friends. Wipe some letters out with the art white friends. <laughs> God. Uh, Ken Kanski. Kaneski? Kaneski? Kaneski. Ken Kaneski. There you go. Cognitive thought. Sargon to alt right. I sent you Hitler nudes. Please respond. Fucking hell, I know. Sargon to alt right. Here, here, is, a, here is some porn. Of, of a black guy fucking a white guy or some gay shit like that. I don't even fucking know. Oh, Christ. <sighs> anyway, um, I would say that we should just be friends. Friends. But the alt right has been inexplicably cruel to me. I need to get the sad violin out here. I need to. I need to. This, 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 this last paragraph deserves it it just fucking deserves it i don't give a you, you couldn't pick a put a more perfect fucking moment for this uh, and now we're gonna get adverts K- kill yourself youtube fucking kill yourself not you guys at home you're lovely i'm talking about the actual company itself can't fucking kill yourself youtube Se- seriously susan wajinski do us a favor do us a favor end it come on right let's let's continue with this so guys like i say <clears throat> prepare for cringe i would say that we should just be friends but the old right has been inexplicably cruel to me. My family and anyone else who refuses to agree with you, and so I have no inter- interest in dealing with you at all. I suggest you ignore me as I ignore you, and get on with whatever it is that gives meaning to your life. Good luck with what you with your right race, right race. Have a good day. Sorry, I tried to do that with Sargon's list, but it's hard to say white race. The white race is there. Anyway. So cringy that I would like to say just be friends, but the alt-right has been inexplicably cruel to me. So cruel to him. (laughs) Sargon. Were they cruel to you? Were they mean to you online? Were they mean to you? Did they say nasty things? Here, here's some fucking porn. Here's some porn of a guy, a black guy fucking a white guy. Jokes, bro, but you've been inexplicably mean to me inexplicably mean people are asking where that song comes from it's literally just called sad violin it's on youtube it's fucking that's where it comes from sad violin on youtube i am confused i'm really confused by this he like oh he goes on all day it's like yeah i'm a fucking warrior i'm a fucking culture warrior bro i take on all of the harshness of like the guys attacking me from the fucking left oh my god i take this all day 
but I can't be friends with you alt-right, so I can't, I'm not going to get along with you. You've been inexplicably cruel to me. My family and anyone else who refuses to agree with you. Really? They were. I, I don't know when his family got involved, or does this mean when he mentioned his black dad? I don't know. And so I have no interest in dealing with you at all. That's fair enough. That's your choice to do. I suggest you ignore me as I ignore you. Thanks for the letter, says the alt right to Sargon. Th thanks for ignoring me. Thanks for the... Thanks. Thanks for making it clear that you weren't ignoring... You're just acting like a nigger, mate. Fucking hell. Panda Pie for five says, I can hear that little chuckle he does just after this shit. <laughs> that one. Something like that. I can't... I'm, I'm terrible at doing that. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. I suggest you ignore me as I ignore you and get onto whatever it is that gives meaning to your lives. Some of them find meaning in, meaning in trolling you. And I'll be honest with you, that might be a thing that people find meaning to their lives in now, pissing off Saga of a card. Just saying. Some people might find meaning in that. I think it's stupid, but some people might. Good luck with the white race. Have a great day. Good luck with the good luck with the white race. What? what the, <laughs> good luck with it. Good, good luck with your white race. Good, good luck. Good, good luck with the right. It's just such a weird statement to end it with. Good luck with the white race. Good, good luck with your owned white race. All right, you you own the white race. Good, good luck with it. Hope it goes well. Have, have a have a great day. Have, have a great day. Great day from Sargon there. Yeah. It's fucking retarded. It is fucking retarded, this letter, to the alt-right. It has to be a joke. The fact that V posted this out, and this is from Sargon, I'm really confused because it's like, part of me is like, this has to be a joke. I can tell where he's putting his little, like, uh, I said good luck with the white race because that's what they're all crazy about. Yeah, but you thought the Kumite was fucking alt-right. You've spoken to, like, two or three alt-writers, right? Two or three alt-writers, and you've spoken to them all now, Sargon. How many feminist videos have you done? Is, what is this? You talk to three people, you judge everyone by that. Is, is this how it works? This doesn't make sense, Sargon. This, it's, just, it's just baffling. 